While there are benefits offered by these plans, let's consider some of the downsides. Let's go back to those parents who, after bringing home their new baby, want to start putting money aside for their future education. Do you think at that point, as they gaze into that cute little face, that they can know with certainty what plans this child may have for education in 18 years? With these government plans, there are significant penalties attached to your child choosing differently than you expect if you want to access the money for them for some other purpose. A second huge drawback of these plans is that the money saved serves only one purpose. Once the money is used for post-secondary education, the best case scenario, it is now gone, unable to be used for any other purpose. You have permanently and generationally killed the compounding. The proverbial golden goose is dead. We have all met parents who learned about alternative options after their child has completed their post-secondary education, and they are dismayed that all the money they saved so hard over many years is gone forever. A third consideration is the ability to save versus invest. As the name indicates, this is advertised as a savings plan. However, the money is actually invested. The number one attribute of investing is that regardless of the vehicle or tool that you choose, your money is at risk of loss. There are no guarantees of growth, only predictions based on past performance, which have absolutely no bearing on the future. Your investments may grow or be lost to market downturns and fees. Remember, your investment manager gets paid no matter what. Consider the impact on how much money may be available for your child should there be a market downturn the year they begin their college degree. Finally, these plans are ultimately government-controlled programs. Any government could change the rules at any time, which they have. Plus, once you give your money away to someone else to manage, you give up all control. Your money is in prison for 10 to 20 years and cannot be accessed without rules and an enormous cost. So it is essential to always consider who controls your money.